Chemists are finding that there may be more than one common reaction pathway through which molecules dissociate or decompose. The bucket shown here represents the potential energy surface for a reaction. For example, let's look at the light-induced dissociation of formaldehyde. The small cut on the left side of the bucket represents the traditional pathway, in which formaldehyde must go through a very specific, tight transition state to form the molecular products dihydrogen and carbon monoxide. The larger cutout to the right represents the start of the looser radical pathway, in which the molecule simply separates into a hydrogen radical and a CHO radical. Now we add water to the bucket to represent the energy input into the system. Although the transition state pathway produces molecular products first, it's a narrow restrictive path, so most dissociation happens through radical formation once there's enough energy in the system. Now we add a third path, called roaming, represented by the curved slide attached to the front of the bucket. In this case, a hydrogen starts to pull away from the rest of the molecule, but doesn't quite separate. Instead, it stays within three to four angstroms of the molecule and roams around the remaining atoms. If it collides with the other hydrogen, the reaction forms dihydrogen and carbon monoxide. The higher energy roaming process can therefore form a significant fraction of molecular products because it starts from the looser radical pathway.